Hello everyone, this is the what's growing portion of the video. We've got everything opened up out here so you can be able to see everything pretty good. Almost everything. We have a couple tunnels back over there that aren't quite opened up all the way. Just taking this opportunity to do some watering since we're not supposed to get down below freezing for a little while. Or hopefully so anyway. Also, we hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We had a pretty good time ourselves. Lots of good food, family and friends. So we enjoyed it. Hope you all did too. Uh, we also had a visitor up to the farm earlier today, which was a pleasant surprise. <clears throat> uh, not so much a surprise, but we, we knew it was going to happen, but it worked out, is what I mean. Uh, we had Stone Soup Farm up here. They sell at the uh, South County Seasonal Farmer's Market, and they also sell down at the Manita Farmer's Market down in Westlake. So be sure to check them out. Uh, they wanted to come out and check out the tunnels and stuff. And also, we kind of shot some ideas back and forth and uh, some advice back and forth as well. They've been doing it for about 15 years. We've been doing this as far as a market garden style for about two years now so uh yeah it's very very awesome to have them over and be sure and go check them out now let's go see what's happening out here all right here we are here we are on the round tunnel we have some lettuces that have been transplanted through there we have some arugula coming up through here we'll see how that goes it may not want to do too much for us for the time of year but it might do something so we're going to leave it there to see what happens i believe we also have some mustard greens growing through here little piece of lettuce there as well lettuce head <clears throat> and some more lettuces through here now we went back through our numbers from last year and it seems generally this time of year the lettuces really start to come back and regrow quite well that's uh, pretty interesting how it works out with these uh tunnels but again that's information from last year and as i uh, said earlier we've only been doing this for two years in a market gardening sense as most of you all already know all right this is through here some more transplants through there and also it looks like the carrots are doing a little bit doing a little bit through here nothing too wild and crazy all righty now that it's not raining and the wind's not blowing like crazy we can just walk right on through and here we have some spinach i don't know if you can quite see it it's made it okay through the cold situations there and I'm not exactly sure what's under that and probably some more I think that's radish underneath that tunnel all right now back into the gothic tunnel some things growing through here as you can see the spinach just didn't it didn't quite make it in here for some reason I'm having a lot of problems with trying to get that spinach to grow this year especially after talking about stone soup farm we're not the only ones that have been having problems this year it seems like it's been across the board for everyone maybe it has something to do with how dry the summer was as well who knows but there's lots of lettuces through here lots and lots and lots to harvest so we're probably going to harvest this next week so we should have quite a bit to bring out to the markets and everybody's refrigerators probably full with leftovers from Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and the broccolini is not doing, is not producing anything either. I've been calling this broccoli in the other videos, but it's actually broccolini. Uh, we're probably not going to try that again next year just for the uh, Harlequin bug pressure. I figure we'd give it a shot, but maybe it's not for us to grow. We we're actually looking forward to be able to have some of that for ourselves to try it out. And we didn't even get to that point. There's one point where we could have harvested and we missed it. And then the hurlican bugs just tore it up. All right, let's move on. This is block two. Let's move on down here to block three. Oh, and here's that chard. Yeah, it didn't make it too good. I didn't think it was going to make it with the transplants anyway. We didn't cover it up during a really cold either. But it looks like this one right here is trying to do something. Alrighty, and down through here, this is pretty much more of the same. Lots of lettuces that need to be harvested here soon. Alright, now let's go out and see how the kale is recovering in the other garden. Ah, no, actually, let's walk this way first. I'm going to show you some more out here. 
All right, so yep, right through there. And down in here we have something on the right-hand side. I don't know what that is, can't remember right offhand, but I know we have some radish in here growing. Maybe that'll come to life for us. Right down in here we have some more spinach just planted. So it's been slow with these guys. There's not much germination either. Tricky, tricky on the spinach. Can't say we haven't been trying to plant it anyway. Then here's a look at the red Russian kale. We have that uncovered as well. She's going to do some harvesting for that for the markets this Saturday. All right, now let's go to the other garden and take a look. Here we are down here at the newer garden. And yep, the kale's starting to kind of come back to life a little bit. Getting some newer growth on it. So that's a quick peek down here. Nothing really amazing is happening. Now I want to take y'all up and show you something that's brand new for all of you that have hung on this long. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, we're proud to announce that we have finally installed our Back to Eden garden. Uh, we have a lot of wood chips back in here. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. As some of y'all know, we started out with a very, very small Back to Eden style garden. And we've had it continuously revert away from that for the market garden. So now hopefully we'll be able to do more of what we've been wanting to do for a while. So hopefully this is going to make it a lot more fun. Let me turn the camera around here for you. We have a lot of wood chip material up here. A lot of this is anywhere from two and a half to probably three feet deep. We still have to go through here and rake a lot of this out to smooth it out on top. As you can see up there, it's already been smoothed out. However, down here, got some more to do. <clears throat> So hopefully we're putting it down thick enough so we don't have to worry about applying any more material for quite a few years. And we can start growing some different stuff up here. Very excited about it. So I'm happy y'all can come up here and take a peek with us. Still more work to do up here. Got to get a border set up. Get all this stuff spread out. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. And we'll see y'all out at the Rocky Mount Market and the South County Seasonal Farmers Market on Saturday. Which I believe is what November 30th. So come on out and see us. Take it easy.